Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. A little while ago, I made a video that shows you how to make a tiny accordion book from scrap paper. And today I'm here to show you another kind of easy cover that you can make for this style of book. Today we'll be making a simple self-closing type cover from paper. This kind of cover can be used for more than accordion books, so do experiment with different sizes and styles and have some fun with it. The materials and tools that I'm using here are some heavier weight scrap watercolour paper painted with a simple wash for the cover, and my little baby accordion book, a cutting mat, a ruler, a bone folder and a utility knife. I started by measuring my cover paper against my book block to be sure it was the right width. The width of the paper needs to be the front cover, the back cover, two spines and the front again. Luckily my piece of paper was exactly the width that I needed it to be. The second step was to tear a strip of cover paper to the same height as the book block. I measured mine using the guidelines on my cutting mat, then lined the paper and ruler up to tear it to the right size. You could cut your paper if you wanted to, but I prefer the look of the torn edge and it's also a bit more forgiving. You don't need to be quite as exact with the torn edges as you need to be with the cut edges. Next, I used my book block as a guide again to make my folds in the paper. I made the fold for the front cover first, burnishing it to a crisp edge with my bone folder, and then I checked and folded at the appropriate spots for the left spine, the back cover, the right side spine, and the overlapping front cover piece. I love this kind of cover because it's really simple and quick, and it doesn't use any glue or sewing. It's also really great for using up scraps of old art experiments and decorative paper. If your strip of paper is too long, you can tear it down to size after making that last fold. The bone folder helps keep your edges nice and sharp, but if you don't have one, you can just apply some extra pressure with your fingertips. You could also measure all this out in advance and make your folds precisely where they need to be. Personally, I find it a bit easier and faster to just fold against the book block and keep checking my work from time to time to make sure that I have everything in the right place. I found it a little difficult to make the pinch mark for the final fold against my accordion book, so I measured the width of the first spine with a ruler and marked the second spine to the same measurement before folding. I do find it really handy to use a cutting mat with good measurement guides on it. I find myself using the guides on my mat for measuring a lot more often than I do with the ruler. Now it's time for the secret sauce of this book cover. The way we make it hold itself together without glue or sewing involves making a cut in each of the front cover pieces. I measured the width of one front cover and made a cut at the halfway point. You want your cut to be longer than half the height of the book, but no longer than three quarters of the height. Anywhere in between those two measurements is fine. The height of my book was 4 centimetres, so I made my cut 3 centimetres long. While I'm finishing up my folds and before we move on to the next step, it seems like a good time to remind you that I have a Patreon and you can go and support it. If you get some value out of what I make and you want to give me the equivalent of a cup of coffee each month, that would be brilliant, it really makes a huge difference.
the next step is to make a corresponding cut in the second front cover. If you cut your first cover from the bottom towards the top, you need to cut the second cover to the same length but in the opposite direction, so from the top towards the bottom. I used my first cut to mark the exact location for the second cut. When both cuts have been made, you can close the book by interlocking them together. Magic! Please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video or if you have a question. All the materials that I used are listed in the description, along with links to my Patreon page, my website, my Facebook page my Instagram and some affiliate links to a couple of good art stores where you can buy materials. I've also included links to the original accordion book tutorial as well as links to some other styles of book covers that I've made. Thanks for watching. Cheers.